Hey everyone, welcome back to Rainy Day Let's Play. Our Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge has brought us to the fifth gym. It's got this cool, like, psychedelic poster going on. Like what you've done with the place, Clay. This could be a big, what, elevator puzzle thing. Lots of ups and downs, just like, uh, with the bug guy. Hey, look who it is! Welcome to the Drift Riddle Gym. This is for you. Some fresh water. Team Leader Clay uses ground type Pokemon. Approaches between you and me, ground type Pokemon are good against water type attacks. They also don't like grass or ice type attacks. Oh, and in this gym, the area you walk on will light up. Where you've been is a hint for where you need to go. Oh, okay. Can we just play like Rush Hour, the little traffic -y game? Ah, what does this mean? Oh my. Okay, well, we'll fight their first trainer. Who do I got? I got Ketslev in the lead. Can also use uh, Marshawn. She can go beast mode on a lot of these guys. My Pokemon dig because they believe they're going to find something. They battle because they believe they're gonna win. <laughs> the philosophy of digging. Digging just to find things. Worker Noel. Worker Noel used Ball Toy. It's a little uh, psychic and ground type evolves into Claydol, who's pretty, pretty tough and interesting typed Pokemon. Levitates around. Also, it looks like a top, and so it's just super adorable. But very easily disposed of. Geodude! It's from that one Pokemon, that game, that nobody really played. Double weak against grass type attacks, being a rock and a ground type, so... Oh, it does have sturdy. Which means it's going to use explosion. That's just... that's rude. It's just... uncouth. It really is. I feel like I'm gonna be dealing with that a lot. I'm not quite in danger mode, but a little too close for comfort. I'm not happy seeing multiple explosions in this game. I'm feeling like that's a cheap anti-Nuzlocke challenge tactic. It's just mean. It's just mean. I've lost too many Pokemon that way already. To lose a starter would just be... would be so sad. And it looks like we got one more. Wow, Noel's just stacked with Pokemon. Which I should be actually more cautious of now that we're getting into the higher leagues. It's gonna be five or six Pokemon each, and it's gonna be a lot of work, and it's gonna like make me cry. Ah, <sighs> Clay's awesome. He can just tell if minerals will be there. <laughs> That's what we're doing this for for our minerals. Another way to say it is that clay will be wherever there are oodles of ore! I appreciate your alliteration. Oh, so this... Not sure what this is telling me. Is the drill telling me which way to go? What does this mean? Oh, this is an elevator. Wow! Okay a little bit of a view of what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna pop back. Actually, I only used one Pokemon, so we'll send in Marshawn and she can take care of the next trainer, probably. Hopefully. That's kind of the point of all of this. Level 40 business, just to roll through the cronies. And then when we get to the big show at the end, that's when things get serious. Worker Tavarius! That is one hell of a name. Marsh Tom! Evolved form of Mudkip. It's a water ground type, so it's double weak against grass. We don't have grass right now, so we'll just use... Well, both of these attacks will actually do equal damage, so... Let's use Fly. Get out of here. Ice Beam! That's exactly what we're looking for. Make sure we don't get hit by that, so... Had I had a grass type out, that's probably what they would have used. And we're not quite down to half health, but Brine does double damage when the opponent's at half health, so it's a really cool attack. 
Scald! It's not very effective, but it could cause a burn, which would suck. There we go. Nice and easy. Get a free level out of it. And we're not in too bad of shape right now. Pillow Swine! Ground Ice Attack, so... We can actually use Fits on this one, but, I mean, that's dangerous. We use a lot of things, actually. Hmm. Options, options, options. Because it's a rock type... I'm gonna throw in Mount Rainier for this one. Uh, because it's an ice type, I mean. Ice is weak against rock. Even though ground is not weak against rock. So, we can use Rock Slide on it. And hopefully do a little bit of damage. And it can use Rock Slide on us, which is actually super effective against us. Awkward. But that's okay. Oh, that's not cool. So, we're in Danger Zone right now. I'm going to leave it be too much for right now. I wish I took Pillow Swine down to half health, but not quite enough. Icic Icicle Crash is actually a pretty powerful Ice-type move. Wait, no, it knows, uh, it knows Rock Slide. I gotta get out of here. This is just... This is not gonna work. Scoteen, go take care of business. It's not gonna use, like, an, a ground-type attack against me. There we go. What was I even thinking? That could have been miserable. Hoi. So let's use Strength. Which should take it out, ideally. But that could have been a, that could have been a horrible mistake on my part. Everyone gets a little XP for that one. Alright, enough of this madness. Quagsire, we're going to throw in a uh, Grass-type. It'll probably have something to counter Grass-types, but... We're just going to hopefully take it out in one hit. Keep using Leaf Blade. I could also use uh, Tornado. What is it? Leaf Leaf Tornado. Uh, it's the difference between physical and special attacks. And I have higher special attack, but it's like, eh, kind of goes both ways. Gliger! Very interesting. A ground flying type attack. Throw down with rocks. Could use water. Not sure what it's going to have. Hmm, I think I'm gonna, gonna go with Scoteen. He's got the HP to take hopefully anything. Think about... Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Gliscor. But Gligar is a highly defensive Pokemon. So it's got some weird stuff going on. Okay. If it's got, uh, if it's got Bulldoze it's, as its ground attack, that's okay. I can deal with that. Also, the nice thing about fighting ground-type Pokémon as Scoteen is that we have a defense-boosting move if we ever want to use it. So we're not totally out of... out of sorts if that comes to it. 777 XP! Looks like the conveyor brought the trainer back. Have you used the elevator? Yes, I have! Thank you for asking! Still not totally sure what this, like, the glowingness has to do with anything, but uh, I'll probably it'll probably be used in a second. In the meantime, I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center, and I'll be right back. And we're back in the gym. Also, because we're in a gym, I feel like I... Oh! Those uh, markers are still there. Show me where I've been. Maybe this gym is just huge and that's why we have all the markers. But uh, because we're in a gym, I feel like I owe you a, uh, a story. But I'm not sure. Have I told you this story yet? We've been in four gyms. I might be repeating my past time Pokemon stories. But have I ever told you the one about uh, how I took a class, a focus group on Pokemon, and failed it? 
at the uh, University of Washington, I had the opportunity to take a focus group in my major, all about Pokemon. Hey, look, there's Clay. That was super easy. Kind of want to get the XP first, though. So that's what these elevators are for, is just to find the gym leader. But I'm just going to go to all of them anyway, so... Wow, it is a really big gym. That's... No wonder these are all here. It's supposed to be a big maze. Fortunately for the maze, I found clay first. I feel like I didn't really think this one through too much. What are the slides for? Ooh! You go all the way across. Cool. Okay. So, I uh, had a class on Pokemon, and it was very, very firm about how it's not, it wasn't a big fan of the games as much as it's a big fan of uh, Japan studies, so the person that was running it was uh, very invested in making, sh making us read a lot about Pokemon and then making sure we did the readings. And I didn't really, because of how busy I was that quarter, I didn't have the time to put into it, but also because the work was so bland, I didn't really get interested in it, which is weird because it's supposed to be a class on Pokemon. And a lot of the other people in the class were in the same boat where it was like, I really want to talk critically about the ideas in Pokemon. Oh, that was a terrible idea to keep Marshawn in. Had that been a critical hit, that would have killed me, and it has a high chance of critical hit. Sorry, Marshawn. I almost, I almost downright destroyed you. Let's get out of here. I'm tempted to just crash Steelix, but I probably shouldn't, because if it doesn't kill it in one hit, it will kill me in one hit. <laughs> Gotta go the safe route, sorry Fitz. Hard to use you, Fitz, because you are so, so not defensive. <laughs> when I put you in, you have to kill things in one hit, or else I can't put you in. That looks good, wow! You are just having a, a great day today, Cat's Love. You are just making so many friends that want to murder you. And a golem. I, I can take one more explosion if that's what you have to give me. And I missed. That's not good. Yay! I'll take a speed boost. Don't want to use physical attacks, so I'm going to use my special attacks. Leave Tornado, go! And a sturdy. Wah wah. Okay, so I'll have the first move, and it's not going to use any kind of weird explosions on me. So, I'm going to use the attack that is more, cap more easy to hit with. There we go. And that's all we got. You didn't notice the pitfall at my feet? Phew! That could have been awful. Life is filled with pitfalls. If you fall in, do your best to crawl out. Thank you, Frederick. Pretty good for a guy whose name is Potatoes. Get it? Fries? Fry? Frederick? Sorry, that was a dumb joke. Hoping this will take us out of here. No! That's not what I want. Can't do more battles right now. I mean, I, I can. It should be a pain in the butt. Get me out of here. <laughs> Psych that guy out. Oh, that should have put me in a battle. Probably one where every Pokemon has explosion. Where am I? Huh. Okay. So... The, the class was supposed to be, like, you do the assignments every week, um and you do all the readings, and you show up to class every Friday, and that was too much for the two credits that it was worth, and for some reason, despite having gone to almost all of the classes, I guess I missed one too many classes, despite how much work I put into each class that I put in, the guy failed me. And I could have contested it, but I just was so enjoying the idea of failing a Pokemon class that I disagreed with, that it was kind of part pride, 
but also part just the funniest thing ever to take a class on Pokemon and fail it. That I was just like, you know what? Let it ride. That's the way it's gonna be. So that's my story on failing a Pokemon class. And we'll get back to Clay and... Oh, going the wrong way. Eh, let me in. Doors are hard. So that is a real-life story about real-life Pokemon and how it, uh, how it affected my life. Class itself, though, it did have some good points. Had weeks about, uh, animal, um, what is it? Not animal testing, but, um, talking about how the, uh, game exploits animals, and the PETA Pokemon game had not come out yet, so we didn't have that to work with. Hello! Hey, you jumped at me. How come the other guy didn't? You must just be a go-getter worker. Worker Nile. Worker Nile sent out Weiss Cash. It's a big floating fish. Full of adorable. So, probably could have used a uh, used a grass type here. But, even a water type attack will do neutral damage against this water and ground type. Whereas your surf is pitiful! One of these days I'm gonna fly, they're gonna use explosion, and I'm just gonna be so happy. Wow! Rock slide! Not what I need right now. Whiskash, don't be, uh, don't be such a jerk. It <laughs> was nice to dodge rocks, because that would have sucked. Marshawn, this is not your gym! We thought it was, but we were wrong! This is not your gym. There we go, a camera upped. Fire and ground type, that's what I need right now. Hopefully Brian will just one hit KO. We can just walk away. Perfect. Marshawn, you get a level! Everyone gets a level! Ah, a Hippopotas. Yeah, we'll stay in. Hippopotas is a 4th gen Pokemon, one that I am very fond of, because it evolves into a very cool Pokemon. Has a lot of defense, not a lot of special defense though, so water type attacks do mighty damage to it. <laughs> I like its cry, that was awesome. And a Crocorock, just to round things out. Let's... we'll put Cat's Love out. Don't need Marshawn taking too much damage. And luckily, none of these Pokemon explode. Although, if they do, that will be an insane twist. Guess I do have to watch out. Clay will probably have exploding Pokemon. There we go. Just what I needed. Super easy. Driftvale City's Pokemon Gym is soaked in the sweat and tears of the Pokemon that worked so hard to dig it out of the rock. So, well, it smells kind of funny. All that... All that sweat and tears. So many Pokemon tears were put into the making of this gym. So many tears.